All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm Probably Senpai, and today we're gonna be discussing what I like to do in Dreamlight Valley when I have limited time to play. So by limited time, I mean, you know, maybe you have five minutes, five to 10 minutes, but you can't sit down for like a full-on play session. Like, that's what I'm talking about here today. Now, what I do could definitely vary from what you do, especially if you're at a different game state. Right now, I'm at the end of the game. I've got all my quests done, all right? I just really grind for materials. I'm trying to complete all my Dreamlight tasks. So one thing to keep in mind is when I'm going over what I like to do daily, a big part of that is going to be focused on completing 100% of my Dreamlight tasks. And yes, I know that I cannot do this one right here yet because we don't have enough houses to repair. And I know I can't do this one yet because we don't have Simba and Nala, but soon we'll be able to do this one as well. So so for right now, I'm just trying to get the ones done that I can. So a lot of that has to do with foraging, feeding the animals, collecting herbs and such. And the rest of it is just grabbing some materials that you you have to wait a long time to get. So if you're going to log on just once, you should definitely try to get these things done. Let's go ahead and start with the obvious thing that everybody should do first, which is go shopping. So we're going to want to go to Scrooge's shop and we're going to want to check Kristoff's stall. That's an automatic, especially if you're at the late game. And also I'm going to make myself tiny. Now that I'm pocket sized, we're gonna go through and we're gonna shop. That's the first thing I do if I only have a few minutes to play, but there's something very important I'm gonna do along yeah, the way. Cool. Daily combos. Place like this. I highly recommend always stopping to do a daily combo. <laughs> you can just tap right through them, but getting these daily combos done is very important if you wanna 100% all of your Dreamlight duties. <laughs> because, let's take a look at it. You need to have 1,000 daily conversations. I just recently started like actually pushing for these a couple of weeks ago and I'm only halfway there. So the sooner you start on this, the better. We have 23 villagers in the game right now. And if you talk to every single one of them, you can move this up by 23 every day and you need 1,000. And that's if you have everybody. So if you only have a handful of villagers, make sure you're doing those daily convos as much as you can. When I only have a few minutes to play, I'm not gonna hunt down every villager, right? But every single villager I come across, I will stop and have a, a conversation with real quick, just because you might as well, if you do wanna 100% these Dreamlight duties, okay? So, or Dreamlight tasks, I should say. So yeah, anybody oh, that's around, so we're gonna talk to them on our way to the shop, on our way to the store here. And in addition to that, the chests, you guys, uh, the chest. Child. There's one Shall right I here. my curtsy? You don't have to be so rude when I'm recording a video. Yeah, go on, get out of here. Okay, you're just gonna float. For me, this one usually has, this one usually has a furniture item or clothing item. Let's see what we got here. So we're gonna get ourselves socks. Wow, the best, the best gift. The best gift. Actually, as an adult, I'm not going to lie, getting socks is a pretty nice gift. I, I kind of like it. So, yeah, we're going to make sure we get our green chest. There's also the yellow chest, and then there is also the blue chest. If you don't have time to run around and get all the chest, the one I would highly recommend getting is, of course, the moonstone chest. You get 50 moonstones per day. It's not a whole lot, but it does add up. So make sure you find that blue chest. If you only got a few minutes to play, make sure you find that blue chest and grab that. Unless you just don't really care about moonstones. Maybe you're a millionaire and maybe you have like a whole bunch of money to throw at the game. That's great. That's great. That's awesome. Uh, for me, even if I'm only saving 50 cent, like I'm just going to, I'm just going to try to grab that. So we're going to, we're going to go with that. Okay. So now that we've had a few daily Hi. convos mm. and we've oh. grabbed ourselves the green chest that was in the area. We're gonna come over here. Maui, please, please go away. Please go. Maui, please stop. So, Kristoff's stall is a must every day, and it is for this item in particular. I don't know about you guys. Maybe you guys can tell me this in the comments. I'm really curious about this. How often do you see iron in this stall? Because I swear to y'all, it is the rarest thing for me. I, I see iron in Kristoff's stall maybe once a week. Maybe. I see glass vials, I see gold bars, ah, I see bricks. Now this is an island I can spend some time on. Maui, please go away. I just, I really, you know, you're great. It's awesome having a demigod around, but I'm trying to record. You're just beating on your chest. You know what? You know what? It's fine. We're just gonna let. We're just gonna let it ride. So. I always buy everything I can from Kristoff Stall, especially iron and gold. So come here once a day and buy the tin that you can. And, you know, I would just advise always doing that if you can. If you're at the late game, that is. I just buy everything, except for the coal, because we have unlimited coal now. So, you know, 
all of the all of the other resources I'll completely buy up. Hi there. And at least Maui is helping me block people from moving forward. So at this point, at this point, I'm just able to uh, <laughs> have daily conversations with the people that he's trapping. So happy you're here. All right. So after clearing off Kristoff's stall and getting all the good stuff out of there, oh hey Buzz, daily conversation maybe. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get you out of the way too. We're gonna go to Screw to Shop. If you like, this is the one thing I would do. If 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 you had 30 seconds to play, if like you know maybe you don't even have five minutes. Maybe you, you can log on for less than a minute. If there's one thing I had to do, this would be it. This would be the one thing I would do if I couldn't do anything else. I would check Scrooge's shop. Uh, because you never know what's going to be in here. You know, sometimes it's it's bunk, sometimes it's great. Like, actually, this is a really nice cabinet. Greetings, neighbor. I like that. Oh. You can see through. They're very nice. Uh, I'll never use it because I like the blue ones, but that's fine. Good day to you. So I go into Scrooge's shop. I usually buy sort of just about everything he has because in the late game, you know, if you have Good pumpkins... If you have pumpkins, you're you're not you pretty much have endless star coins. Oh, I don't neighbor. farm that often. I only I basically Good I hit 1.5 million oh. and then I'll farm back up to 2 million and then I I just stay between 1.5 million and 2 million. If you want more star coins than that, that's oh, awesome. Uh, but for me personally, there's not enough things in the game to buy right now with star coins to really justify farming up to 10 million star coins. If I'm going to farm anything it's going to be iron so all that time i could take uh farming pumpkins and making pumpkin puffs and trying to hit 10 million 20 million star coins i would rather dedicate all that time to mining oh iron. yes daddy so you know <laughs> so you know that's where i put the focus uh most of the time when Good i play so we're just going to buy out everything he has here, and then we're going to go on to our next little duty. If I was really in a rush, I wouldn't even bother buying this stuff right now. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to explain what I would... Ooh, I like this. I'm trying to explain what I would do if I had limited time. Very nice. Another item for Tangled. And let's see. What do we have here? We have some hair. You know what? I might have a, I might have some friends that might want this when we can start giving gifts to each other. Whenever we can start giving gifts to each other, uh, I'm trying to get cool stuff for y'all. All right, so... Now that we've cleared out Scrooge's shop, we're going to talk about the next thing I try to do when I only have limited time to play, and that is feeding the critters and gathering herbs. Now, depending on how much time you have, this might be a little bit tricky to go to each biome and collect all the herbs, so some of y'all might be like, well, I can't be doing all that. So for me, it's actually quite fast because I've already finished a lot, so I don't have to, I don't have to go out and collect mushrooms. I don't have to go out and collect ginger. I don't have to go out and collect basil. It's all done. So for me, there's only a couple I have to collect, which is going to be garlic, and vanilla. So, of course, um, if I have limited time, I'm just going to be sure to hit both of these biomes, Sunlit Plateau for vanilla, and I'm going to hit the Forest of Valor for garlic. And I'm going to do that while feeding the animals. The reason I try to get these done is because you can only feed two, sometimes three animals a day. I have noticed when I get on, if I get on like well past midnight, I, I might be able to feed four animals if I do an AM, PM, but usually I'm not going to be able to get on at both times of the day. So for the most part for me, I can feed about two animals per day. So since I can only feed two animals per day, 90 animals, that's 45 days of nonstop playing coming onto the game each day to feed the animals, which is why I recommend trying to do it any chance you get. So if you log on, if you can feed the animals, you're going to get these Dreamlight tasks knocked out a lot faster. That also brings me to the other item, which is removing night thorns. This is another thing I try to do every day if I can, and it doesn't take that long. If I log on, I feed the animals, I remove the night thorns, I shop at Scrooge's shop, and I do the other things I'm going to bring up on this list. It takes me maybe five minutes if I rush it. So it's not that bad. Now, we're going to go ahead and run through my routes. You've seen me have a couple conversations, you've seen me shop at Scrooge's shop, and you've seen me grab the green yeah. chest. So we're going to continue forward. And if you're really in a rush, don't feel like you have to do all the combos. I try to do the combos personally because... It takes a long time to complete that Dreamlight task, and you should definitely be trying to do the combos whenever you get a chance. Another thing I would recommend is, while you're out and about, and you're collecting your herbs, you're having your combos, you're feeding the animals, look for these. A valuable resource in the game are the Dreamlight shards. Now, I don't worry about these stumps too much. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with them. It's just wood, I have too much, you know? Well, you can't have too much, but I have plenty. We have another one of the green chests here coins this time and we're going to be looking for garlic so garlic and vanilla those are the two herbs i still need that's what we're running through here and we also we're going to feed we're also going to feed the raccoons 
And we'll also gather any shards that we find in the ground just because, you know, that's a valuable resource and they don't respawn too quickly. So if you can find some shards in the ground, go ahead and grab them. All right, let's keep on pushing forward. I know where my garlic usually spawns. It's usually going to be... Oh, there's a raccoon right there. I think he noticed us. Yep, let's go ahead and get this one fed. And I don't have too many animals left to feed. There's not, like, a whole lot left here. Okay, there you go. Oh, and another thing that I do to save time. Now that I'm feeding an animal, I just remembered this. So another thing I do to save time, you guys, I always keep the meal options for all the different animals in each biome. The one thing you won't notice here is flowers for the, the birds in the Sunlit Plateau. I've already finished them, so I'm, I'm not worried about feeding them. And instead of giving white sturgeons to the foxes, I know that's their favorite, I actually switched to giving them salmon so I can get the iron ingots from them instead. So if you give salmon to the foxes, they'll actually give you iron ingots. In my opinion, that's actually a little bit better than Dreamlight Shards. So we fed one of the raccoons. Let's keep looking around for the other one while we also gather... All, we're going to gather all the garlic that we can as well. The reason I try to gather the herbs where, wherever I can is because they do take a little while to fully respawn. Like I said, when it comes to my daily activities in Dreamlight Valley, one thing I am always trying to do is knock out some of the longer Dreamlight tasks. Longer Dreamlight tasks would be feeding the animals 90 times, having a thousand daily discussions, things like this. So... As I'm running through, we're going to do that. And another one, as mentioned before, is collecting the herbs. So I've already finished all of the herbs in the game with the exception of garlic and vanilla. So garlic and vanilla are the only ones that I still need to finish. So whenever I come to the forest or whenever I go to the Sun of the Plateau, I also gather all the herbs, even if I only have a few minutes to play. All right, so we're going to go through here. We got both of the raccoons fed. And if we happen to come across any Dreamlight shard spots in the ground, we're going to dig those up as well. Dreamlight is a very valuable resource, so we try to grab that whenever we can. Not seeing... Oh, there's a Dreamlight spot. Speaking of which, hopefully it's not Night Shards. I want to be able to do something with Night Shards. I always get Night Shards, bro, what the heck? Okay, and we got more garlic over here. And here, that's all of it. Oh, and there's our blue chest. You know, this is another one you want to find when you when you only have a few minutes to play. You want to make sure you find your moonstone chest. You get these once a day, and it's 50 moonstones, which does add up over time. You know, give it 10 days, that's 500 moonstones right there. Okay. So we're not going to worry about picking up the wood here. I'm not going to worry about picking up the mint. I'm not going to pick any of the flowers because we're running this as if we had limited time to play. So now we're in Frosted Heights. I'm only going to focus on the Dreamlight Shards in the ground here and feeding the animals. I'm not even going to break these for the Snowballs because I have enough Snowballs. If you need Snowballs, you can break those, but we're going to pass on that for now. And also, some of you might be saying, why not get some fishing done? But I'm, I'm trying to play this as if I don't have a lot of time, and I'll explain later why fishing is not a big priority for me. Uh, we'll explain that here shortly. And a rule of thumb, one thing I typically do is I always try to feed the animals their favorite item. That way you get Dreamlight Shards. However... I would prefer to feed the foxes salmon because they will drop you iron ingots. I believe one, I think the regular fox, like the the average looking fox, the one that looks like a fox that's not blue or black, you know, like a regular brown fox. That one still drops a dream shard for salmon for some reason, but salmon will usually have them drop iron ingots. Now, I already fed my little guys after midnight last night, so they're not dropping anything for me today for some reason, so, you know, you won't get to see the iron ingot drop, but yeah, definitely recommend doing the iron ingots. If you don't chase the fox, it won't run as far. Oh, really? Well, somebody told me something else, too. They said you can block it. Like, you can block it. Oh, yeah. Dang, yeah, he doesn't go far at all. I never knew that. So, if you don't chase the fox, they won't go far at all. Dang, that's cool. Okay. I've been chasing foxes this whole time. I've fed foxes almost 90 times. Literally just always chased them all over the place. That's so funny. Okay. So, yeah, I always feed them salmon. That way they can drop the iron ingots. I've already fed them today, so it's not going to work. But, you know, you get the drip. I'm actually done feeding the birds in the Sun of the Plateau, so I don't have that as a quest anymore. But I do need to get the vanilla. For now, we're going to go feed all the critters. While you're feeding your critters, while you're knocking out that Dreamlight task, is try to have as many daily combos as you can. If I was really in a rush, I would not be going into this house right now, and I would not be bothering trying to talk to Kristoff, who for some reason isn't even in here, even though the map clearly said he was. He's probably going to be outside now because, you know, he's just dodging me, trying to ghost me. Like, he owes me money or something, but that's fine. Uh, 
Yeah, what a surprise. Look who it Hello. is. He's probably tired of me trying to get iron from his shop. <laughs> so, yeah, so knocking long. out another daily combo there. Proceeding forward. Not going to bother picking up the sticks, flowers, or mint. Now, if I did still need mint for a Dreamlight task, I would definitely pick it up, but we do not need that anymore. So, so far on our little adventures here, we've only done a couple of things today. I've taken a lot of time doing it because I'm trying to explain everything that I like to do. First thing was I shopped at Kristoff's stall and I shopped at Scrooge's store. While I did that, I had as many daily conversations as I could along the way, and I've worked to feed all the critters that I need to feed for my Dreamlight tasks. Next ones we're going to feed are going to be the bunny rabbits, which, in my opinion, are Probably one of the most annoying ones to feed. All right, we got a little bunny here. And yeah, like I said, I, I typically always keep their favorite foods on me just because I want to be able to feed them uh, quickly and efficiently. You might want the inventory space more. You might, you might not want to keep all their favorite foods on you. That might be too much of a headache for you. But for me, finishing up the foraging tasks is a huge must and I want to get it done as fast as possible. So I almost always keep the food on me here. And uh, I'm actually almost done. So by next week, I should be done feeding these critters every day. And then my daily activities will change. And I also will not be carrying those items on me anymore, except for the salmon. I want to keep the salmon on me because I want to get that daily iron from the foxes for sure. And there's one more rabbit to feed somewhere. Night thorns. While you're doing your dailies, this one is huge. One of your night thorns is always going to give you this. For the most part from these, I was actually getting coins. But every once in a while, I actually get furniture. If it was just coins, I probably wouldn't even bother picking up the coins at this point, just because it's not really worth your time if you're in a rush. But this can also give you furniture items. So, you know, I feel like that's definitely worth it. Most of the time, it's more coins. But I have gotten furniture from it a few times, so I would definitely recommend knocking it out every time if you can. We got one more rabbit around here somewhere. Let's see if we can find this little guy. All right, we got our other bunny, actually, so I don't think this one's going to work, but we'll try. I'm pretty sure I fed him. I remember the I remember the, the white bunny, albino bunny here. Nope, it's good. We got it. All right, we cleared out some night thorns. We fed our bunny rabbits. Now we're going into the swamp. So I don't have to do mushrooms. I've already picked the mushrooms. So now we're at the point where we're going to feed our little crocodile friends. We're going to knock this one out. And like I stated, we don't need anything else from this biome. We're not going to need mushrooms. I will stop and dig up any of the dream shard spots I see, but that's all I'm going to be doing here in, in the glade. Now, if your playthrough, if you haven't finished the dreamlight tasks for mushrooms, grab those mushrooms while you're out here. If you have time. If you don't, just try to feed the crocs if you can. Uh, one thing I will stop, I'm going to explain why fishing isn't a part of this routine when we get to the end. But if I see golden spots in Frosted Heights or the Glade of Trust, I fish them. Because the white sturgeons and the lobsters are pretty important for feeding critters. And of course, like I said, always, always grab the dig spots. If you can. Another one right next to it. Of course, it's all night shards! So at this point, we've done several daily conversations. We've shopped at uh, Scrooge's shop. We've shopped at Kristoff's stall. We've fed the raccoons. We've fed the crocodiles. And you may have noticed I didn't feed the squirrels. It's because I'm already done with squirrels. But they're easy. Just feed them some peanuts. You know, again, if you want to know what everybody's favorite foods are, I keep them all in my inventory. Pretty much all these things are always in my inventory. Five star meals for the ravens. Seaweed for the turtles. Carrots for the rabbits. Peanuts for the squirrels, but they'll eat any fruit. Blueberries for the raccoons. Lobster for the crocs. And white sturgeons for the foxes, but I usually feed the foxes salmon, like I said, because they'll give you iron ingots. Now, I don't have the flowers in here for the birds in the Sunlight Plateau, but I'm already done with them, so I'm not worried about it. Only thing we're going to be doing here at the beach is looking for night thorns that we might need to break up and also feeding the turtles. The other thing, which I try to do daily, is clear Moana's boat. Fishing can be time-consuming, especially if you need fish for a particular meal. Maybe you're making somebody's favorite gift of the day, trying to get that task done. Well, you can easily just come in here and uh, grab the fish and then go on about your day. I always just put my salmon right back in my inventory, though. Okay, now all we need at this point are the turtles. Also, it's good to note that I'm actually not going out of my way to find the dream shards, like the dig spots. It's just if you come across them, you might as well dig them up, right? So I'm not going out of my way to hunt them down in every biome. There we go. We're going to feed this little guy. So, at this point, we've been to all of the biomes with the exception of two. We have not been to the Sunlight Plateau or the Forgotten Lands. So, we're going to knock out our last tasks right over here. This is another thing I like to do every single time I log on, even if I only have limited time to play. I always break these bones. I break these bones because it is great to get that bonus clay. When it comes to breaking the ice up in Frosted Heights, 
I have so much snow. I feel like snow is really easy to get, and I don't need snow for much. But clay, on the other hand, you need for bricks. And if you saw my Forest of Valor build earlier, you saw that I've burned through about 1,600 bricks so far for that build, just on the fences alone. So, you know, it, it takes quite a bit. I'll also break up these big rocks. I mean, you can always use more stone. I know I can. I've, I've just burned through about 3,000 on my previous build. So I'm definitely going to grab more of that. Now, while we're in the Sunlit Plateau, I will also grab all the herbs. I used to grab all the herbs out of every biome, but now all my Dreamlight tasks for those herbs are done, with the exception of vanilla bean and garlic. Those are the only two herbs I still need. So I make sure right now, if I have limited time to play, I'm going to log on, and I'm going to grab all of the vanilla beans and all of the garlic. But yeah, anytime I come to Sunlight Plateau, I also just have to break these bones. Uh, that extra clay is really nice. I'm really glad the devs made these things respawn. It's very, very handy. And we also have two uh, shard patches right here in the ground. So we're going to grab both of those. And we got one more right here. And there we go. Now, at this point, you can feed the birds too, but, you know, I've already done that. And since we're technically in a rush for this little explanation, I'm not going to bother collecting any of this wood. And don't judge my plateau too much. This is the only biome I have that I haven't really touched because I'm waiting on Simba and Nala. So, you know, uh, it, it will, we'll do something with it eventually. Okay. So we're going to come down here, look for more bones. Oh, well, we got another shard spot here. I think that's a total of three shard spots there. And we got the last of the bones. There's usually one back here. All right, and into my last biome, which we have the brown raven here today. Very nice, very nice. And I've already finished feeding ravens. Like I said, there's only a small handful of animals I need to feed. If you do need to feed the ravens uh, to complete your task, then you can go ahead and feed them. A little thing with the ravens, though, I always still feed them, even though I've already finished, you know, the dreamlight task associated to them. But that's because they always give you three shards, and that's pretty hefty. That's a pretty nice benefit. You know, they're the only animal that does that, a whole stack of three shards uh, for one five-star meal. That's a pretty nice deal. So if I'm up here, I can always use the extra shards, you know. It's just free Dreamlight, so you might as well take it if you have time. And now we're going to go through the trouble of removing every last bit of these Night Thorns here. If I was not done with gathering all herbs, like let's say I wasn't done with Ginger, or let's say I wasn't done with uh, Oregano or Basil, I would, I would be picking those two when I go to feed the rabbits. Essentially, what I would do for my, my daily runs is I would run through each biome, I would feed the animals, I would gather the herbs, I would hold daily conversations, I would pick up the chests, clear the fishing boat, dig up the shards. It's been a year, Daddy. I really, really miss you. Collect the clay from the Sunlit Plateau and clear every single Night Thorn I see. Another thing I will do every single time I log on, even if I only have limited playtime, is come in here and pick up everything from my Darkwood farm. Uh, if you are playing, like if you're having a nice play session, let's say you're playing for an hour or two, for me, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for all the wood to respawn. Each biome is capable of dropping 20 wood in total. There's a little bit of RNG when it comes to how many dark wood you get. I would just advise always come here and pick it up right when you log in. I just left it for last in this case because I did pick up the dark wood when I first logged in and started streaming today. It is a resource that is nearly impossible to farm quickly. So definitely grab it whenever you can. I believe that just about does it for our list of what I do whenever I log on. Now I'm gonna talk about some questions here. Okay, so there's a few things that I didn't do that a lot of you were like, well, I need to do these things. Why aren't you doing them? For example, picking Wally's garden, right? When I was in the early to mid game, I would pick his garden every single time I logged in, even if I only had a few minutes to play. And I think that's a great thing to do. For me right now, I'm just way ahead on my crops. So if you're looking to add more things to this list, Wally's garden is a great thing, especially if you're in the early or mid game or even in the late game. You know, you can't have too much stuff. It's just free money. For me, I love leaving Wally's garden as is simply because I love how it looks like when it's nice and full and lush I hate picking it because it looks barren so for me Wally's garden is more of a decoration than anything and if I need crops I can always plant them in this massive garden we have here and pick them at some point so I don't bother clearing Wally's garden another thing that was asked about was fishing so I will stop and get the golden circles for lobster 
for for white sturgeons. But besides that, I don't really bother clearing out fishing tasks. That's because we're going on the assumption that we have limited time to play, right? You only have five minutes to come in and you want to feed the foxes. You want to feed the rabbits. You want to feed the crocs. You want to feed the raccoons. You want to feed your animals because you can only do a couple a day, in some cases more. But this is only going to move up by about two a day, right? So if you ever want to finish this, it's something you want to try to knock out each day if you can. Same thing applies to herbs. Now these herbs do respawn. If you're going to be playing for four or five hours, you can keep on going back to biomes and repicking those herbs, of course, but they do take a while. And whenever you log in after you've been off for a day, there's always a ton of herbs ready for you to pick and you can knock a good chunk of that task off right away. For fishing, the reason I'm not making it a daily thing is because if I want to have a play session, when I knocked out all the fishing for the Forgotten Lands, the 260, I was sitting there basically doing science on my Darkwood. I was seeing how long it took Darkwood to spawn. I was just watching the Darkwood. And while I did that, I just fished the whole time. See, fishing, you don't have to worry about as a daily, so to say, because if you want to finish this, you could just go to a biome and fish all day and catch 260 fish and be done with that. Other ones, you can't just sit there and push out. Like, you can't feed 90 foxes in a day. You can't pick 900 garlic in a day. You can't feed 90 crocodiles in a day. But you can go catch 260 fish in a day if you wanted to. So that's why I don't include these with my daily activities, right? And another one is gifting. A lot of people say, you know, should I worry about giving gifts while I have limited time to play? It honestly just depends on how much time you have. If you have the time, like if instead of just five minutes to play, maybe you have 10 minutes to play, maybe you have 15 minutes, you can go ahead and look at your collection and you can see, you know, what your characters want and you can go ahead and knock out those daily gifts uh, and also, you don't even have to give them their favorites. The cool thing about the gifting tasks, if we go down to friendship here, for bring 540 gifts, you can give them literally anything. I'm in the way of it, but yeah, for this one, 540 gifts, you can bring them anything. I would give them a rock or give them a mushroom or a piece of oregano. Give them whatever you want. And that one's so easy to do. So it's not one you have to do each day. You can just give them so many gifts. Now, bring favorite gifts right here. That one is time sensitive because you can only give each villager three favorite gifts per day. But you know what I did to finish this one? I literally logged on one day and I gave all 23 of my villagers all three of their favorite gifts. And I was able to knock it out because I was already like well over 100 on the task itself. So we knocked that one out rather quickly. The ones I would always suggest to focus on every single day, if you can, if you have limited playtime, daily discussions, absolutely huge. You can only have one with each character per day, and there's only 23 characters in the game right now we can talk to. Some might be sleeping. Some might be hard to track down with the amount of time you have to play. So just try to have as many daily conversations with as many of them as possible, because you need 1,000 daily convos to clear this out. Making friends, we'll actually be able to finish this as soon as we get Simba and Nala. We're gonna be done with that one. So that's awesome. When it comes to cooking, you can sit down and cook as many meals as you want and knock out these in a single day if you'd like. So that's not something I focus on with the dailies. Honestly, when it comes down to your, your daily tasks, daily convos, Probably the biggest thing. Well, no, scratch that. Kristoff Stahl and Scrooge's Shop. Those are the two biggest daily things you want to do. If you have 60 seconds to log on and play this game, that's exactly what I would do with those 60 seconds. I would go to Kristoff Stahl, hope he has iron or gold, and I would buy every bit of it, and then I would hope Scrooge has some new furniture, and then I would log off. So if I don't have much time, that's all I'm doing. If you have five minutes, I would definitely go with daily combos. Every villager you pass, try to have a daily combo with them because it's gonna help you get that cleared off of your tasks so much easier. Also with that five minutes, feed as many of the animals as you can. I try to do this every day and I always have their food in my inventory ready to go. As soon as I'm done with this, I can get all that food out of my inventory and never worry about it again. Or I can just put it away when I'm done feeding them for the day. I mean, I just always have it on me because it's just easy and it reminds me to always do it. And as you can tell, I'm done with most of the, like I'm done with a lot of the critters. I'll be done with foxes tomorrow. I'll be done with the rest by the end of the week. So I'm not gonna have to worry about doing this daily anymore. 
I'll be able to maybe do a daily iron run if I only have five minutes. I try to make sure I always pick the herbs every day. So when it comes down to harvesting things like oregano or basil or ginger, you know, I've already gotten those done, but that's because I would pick the herbs every day, try to knock it out, try my best to knock it out. Once all of this stuff is done, like once I don't have to worry about Dreamlight tasks anymore, if I log on and I only have five minutes to play, all that time is freed up to do whatever I need to do. So for example, maybe I need iron, maybe I need gold, maybe I need clay. I can take five minutes to grind out those resources and not do this. Given I have that option now, but I really wanna, I really wanna knock out all the Dreamlight tasks. It's just something I really wanna do, and I'm sure you do too, which is you know, why you've stayed and watched this the whole time because you wanna see you know, how that process looks. Maybe you're already done. You might be way ahead of me. You might be completely finished with this. I don't know. Uh, this is just what I do. And you don't have to do the same thing. You might be at a different point of the game. It could be a completely different story from what I'm, what I'm doing. That's okay. There is no right or wrong way to play Dreamlight Valley. At the end of the day, as long as you're having fun, you're relaxed, you're enjoying yourself, then you're playing it the way you should play it. So don't take everything I said as like, oh, that's what I have to do now. You don't have to do any of this. Uh, this is just the way my brain works, okay? So to cap it all off, Scrooge's Shop, Kristoff's Stall, Daily Conversations, Feed the Critters, Gather the Herbs, Clear the Night Thorns, Gather the Dark Wood, Pick up the Chests, Clear the Fishing Boat, Dig up the Dream Shards, and Get the Clay from the Sunlit Plateau. That's what I do every single day when I play Dreamlight Valley. And soon, this whole video is gonna change because I'm gonna be done with all of these tasks and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna be doing from now on. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found this helpful in some way or at least interesting or laughable. I don't know, you know, whatever. Uh, I stream on Twitch, so come check me out over there. I'm live every day from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. I stream on Facebook gaming on Saturdays and I don't stream at all on Sundays. So come by, check us out, say hello. We also have a Discord, I'll put the link in the video description down below. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And as always, good luck decorating your valley. There we go. Uh, yeah, okay. That, there we go. We got a YouTube video. Now, I do have to edit that a lot because <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes. But see, that's where editing comes in handy. All I got to do is cut out the parts where I pause. I cut out the parts where I pause. I cut out the parts where I say the same things twice.